Well, here we are, back for another weekend once again, and you know what that means. It's time for another Weekend Gamers Edition. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed the uh, quote-unquote rerun uh, last week, uh, which we're going to have to do again next week because, well, I won't be here. But we are here today, and of course I've got my usual uh, comrades with me, Daniel, Luke, and Dominic. Hello, everybody. And uh, from what I remember, uh, Luke did say in the uh, chat that he was bringing his friend uh, with him to uh, spectate, so that's always pretty cool. So, let's, so let's go ahead and get started. And, 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 I, and I did explain this to Mark earlier, but um, basically um, what I'm trying to do is to try to eat uh, the story mode on the hard difficulty setting, because I, from what I remember looking up, is that if you want to unlock the hard difficulty, the hardest difficulty setting, you have to make the, the story mode on hard. I did make the story mode on normal, but I'm trying to do it on hard, and this time, I'm actually trying to be the story mode as Mario this time, not Peach. Yeah. Now, the wheels spin prior to going on the air, originally lived on Waluigi's Island, but I do not have that board on, uh, on my save file here for NSO, so... Uh, the least spin landed on Creepy Cavern. And yes, we are going to give bonuses out because it wouldn't be Mario Party if we didn't have bonus stars. Well, unless, unless you want to count, I believe this one time we used to have a little bit of a party superstar where I think, I think we had a game. Well, actually, I, I remember this happening. I think it was with, with Craig, I think it was, or the person where. I forgot to put put the bonuses turned on. The Marbury Superstar thing was on uh, Yoshi's Tropical Island or, or whatever. But because of that, um, we, we weren't able to do it. Ah. It looks like a bear going cards. Yep. Oh, speaking of uh, Craig, I did uh, see the uh, video of uh, you guys playing Mario Party Superstars with him, and. I must say, that was certainly, definitely very exciting. It always was. I, I definitely would say, and that was a very fun game that we had when we recorded that. Yeah, so, yeah, so Daniel, congrats on that win in that game. Yeah, to be honest, to be honest, though, um, to be honest, though, oh, uh, yeah, that game, oh, wow, hit him, Robert. Uh, video. Uh, I did recently just beat Freedom Planet 2, which I thought was an awesome game. Even better than the first one. Yeah, like, I mean, in some way, but I, I, I kind of like the, uh, the first, no, the second game more than the first game. But, uh, 
at the same time, some design choices that I don't like, like for example, when when you um if you die and you decide to revive now, you only receive like a fourth of your health back, and I don't like that. Maybe some of other design choices, but I, but I enjoy Freedom Planet too. And they, they also had way more levels too this time. And if you land on the big plane, there's nothing in there. Rip. Uh, yeah, and then, uh, and then yesterday I was going around doing some game hunting. The game I'm currently looking for, by the way, is for the Nintendo DS, which is Sonic Rush. It sounds like a nice game right there. I've heard a few things about that. Yeah, I have not played Sonic Rush, but I do want to try it. Unfortunately, uh, the... Unfortunately... Oh, sorry. yesterday had the uh, had that game available however the last store that I did went to did have one thing available that I did end up getting and as I mentioned in the group chat it is the Nintendo Wii however uh, what I got for the Wii and three twos in a row Wow uh, anyway uh, what I got for the Wii is well let's just say it's a game I technically already own for the Nintendo Switch. However, its Wii version is known to be one of the more difficult uh, Nintendo Wii titles to find. And in this case, it is the original Wii version of Xenoblade 1. Oh yeah, oh yeah, well, oh yeah, that, oh, that one's really good. Yeah, and, and because of how hard that game is to find, it's no wonder that uh, if it's some that if you can find available, people charge like ridiculous prices for it. Because there, I think there was one time last year where there was a pop-up flea market I went to. I think at one point last year where I did find a copy, but the seller was probably was asking for like around a hundred bucks at the very minimum, and I'm like, yeah, no. Well, well, because here now it is, it is my favorite game of all time. Uh, that is an excellent choice. Yeah. Now, this... Yeah, that's incredible that you managed to uh, get the original Yeah. on the Wii. I wasn't even expecting that. Yeah. And, and thankfully, uh, for this copy, I did not pay $100 for it or whatever. This particular copy that I was able to find yesterday, I ended up paying a more reasonable, a more affordable $35. So, that's not too bad. Now you guys got me. Now, so that copy, I think, is just going to go right into the collection. Mainly because of the fact, like I said, because of the fact that I already own it on Switch as it's as the uh, as the definitive edition, so if I so I could just probably play it on that if I wanted to. Well, I mean, I do have the original game. I downloaded via Virtual Console on the Wii, uh, on the Wii U. Um, but you know, I, I've only 
So, when I was doing this game on... Oh, there's a hidden block key. When I was doing this uh, game yesterday on another group, uh, Slapdown, which is the battle that we just had, came up as one of the battle games. And speaking of battles, we're going to do another one. Uh, anyway, like I was saying, Slapdown came up as one of the battle games, and the, and the very first one that flipped over happened to be the correct answer, which I had never seen before on that one. Yeah, that's literally crazy. What are the odds of that? Yeah, because all the times I've played that battle mini game, the correct answer had never been the first one. So that's extremely rare. Yeah, you said it. Also for this weekend, gamers, I just brought along my friend John Machine joining with us. Ah, yeah, I th thought I heard him in the background before, so hello. And you'll be spectating for this week. Oh, very nice. But good to see you, Joshua. Thank you. Alright, two versus two. Slot sick. Uh, this mini game is garbage when you're going against. When well, you're doing this. When you're, when, when this mini game, I find garbage uh, when, 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 you're, when you're doing it the regular way. Alright. This really sucks right there. Oh! You, shoot. Other okay, there we go. The idea is to get matching ones there, Dominic. Right, there we go. Because, uh, if you're doing this, uh, 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 if you're doing this, uh, you know, uh, slowly, uh, it's actually, it's actually better, because, you know, and it's gonna be a tie. No! Ah! Uh. player, it's, it's, it's actually better, because, you know, the computer player actually, uh, sings sing with you. Ah. Uh. Luke and Daniel right at the buzzer there. Yeah, that was the block yeah, about wow, me and Luke pulled that off. But unfortunately, I do not have enough money for that star. And all because of those two... All because of those two Pokemon battles. Alright, Toad, uh, let's see. My friend Joshua has a YouTube channel. Oh, nice! It's gonna be just short of the item shop. 
and bounce it chance. They might not answer the tie because then when the game seems to lag on on, on, on me along with Daniel, whatever we do with it, whatever we do with it. Which I don't really know why it does that. Because the tender was lazy. Fixed their shitty off of those. It's their role my turn. Yeah. And by the way, I should mention uh, that the reason that there is no show next week, I will be out of town in Boston. That sounds very exciting for you, Mark. Hope you have a great time on the play. Oh, I'm sure I will. Oh, and uh, there's also another uh, topic I should uh, bring up. So I did mention in the chat that I had a few topics to discuss, and this would fall in line with one of them. So there was a video that I saw on uh, Van Buren's channel recently where it said something about parents trying to sue Nintendo, or whatever the company was, because of making a game that was too addicting. Yeah, um, that's not gonna get anywhere. Sorry. Which game are we talking about here? Oh, no, no. I was talking about a video I'd seen yesterday where, uh, Vanier20 was mentioning about parents trying to sue uh, a gaming company, whether it be Nintendo or whatever it was, over, uh, making games that were too addicting. Oh, I noticed that. Yeah. Yeah, that's not gonna get anywhere. I, I am sorry. Now, like, in the case of Fortnite, like, I can kind of understand that, but for a regular, ordinary game, like, for, like, a Mario or something or whatever, that is very weak. Like, like, that, that's just my opinion. Yeah, now that you mentioned Fortnite, that's something I'm never gonna get into. It doesn't interest me one bit. Uh, I actually... Like, seriously, Fortnite is trash. Get that, get that out of here. I actually did try Fortnite once, believe it or not. Very first match I went into, I got wrecked instantly, and I'm like, Okay, this was fun! And immediately deleted it off my Switch. That's so sure enough. Yeah, like, I tried it, got wrecked instantly, and I'm like, okay, yeah, this is not going to work well for me at all. And, yeah. You know, in a way, that kind of reminds me of uh, Asphalt 9 that I uh, tried. I only done, like, the tutorial, then the other two, one or two other races or whatever I, was, I did. And it didn't really interest me. At least I can say I tried it. See, now with Asphalt 9, oh, which I is... Know, the... I really like the Asphalt series. Um, I think it's nice for um, God that could give Asphalt 9 a try. It's a little bit of a shame that you just couldn't get into it. But uh, at least trying it out is the most important thing. See, now with Asphalt 9, I did try that once, and I would actually be more inclined to go back to that one as opposed to Fortnite, because because Asphalt 9, of course, involves racing, and Daniel knows how much I love my racing games. Yeah, I certainly do think racing games are very, very fun. Yeah, racing games, no matter what kind it is, are always fun. But nothing, but no racing game will ever be more fun than Mario Kart. Let's see. Really? Oh! Wait a minute. Okay. This is the forfeited block that has come up. Two of them have been stars, and the last one was a key. What will this have? Ooh! I believe that enables you to play Game Guy. 
without having to land on the game guy's space. Yeah, you can literally uh, use it on yourself to uh, try to get more money if you, if you wish, but you can also uh, use it on someone else to uh, see uh, if you can screw them up. if I remember correctly. Uh, sort of. I, I do know I have seen the player on this channel uh, a few times, and it did look like a very cool game, so I thought I had the shot uh, myself. And, yeah. uh, sure enough, it, 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 it is a good one to find out. Man. Yeah, well, Nick and I have definitely played, have played a few rounds of Kirby's Dream Buffet, and I can tell you this, Daniel, that game is a lot of fun. You know, you know what else, you know, you know what isn't fun? This version of, of, of the main game. Now, the controls aren't necessarily the best when it comes to chat chat challenge on this uh, version. It's definitely a whole lot better when it comes to the Superstar version. Uh, with this, Leia, I don't really see any of us getting holy moly's. That's what uh, Brandon Hinkle uses for uh, Hole of Ones on this mini game. Yeah, I'm definitely well aware of that. And uh, it pretty much uh, reminds me of a show that I watched on ABC called Hole of Ones. I recently got that ball to go that they did have the Masters tournament and uh, Scotty Scheffler won that, so congratulations to him on winning that tournament. Oh, I got it! I'm not sure who Mark got that one, because I respect him. 